guys. So in today's video, we are going to be doing my 21 days of beauty from Ulta haul. Whenever Ulta has their 21 days of beauty, I am the first one to get excited for it. The 21 days of beauty, if you are unfamiliar with, it is 21 days of beauty steals at Ulta. So all of the beauty products throughout the 21 days are going to be half off. The brands flip flop every time that they do at the 21 days so some are better than others which in this case this 21 days of beauty was phenomenal i almost i feel like almost did like all 21 days but you actually can save some money on some awesome products i know this year they had anastasia they had juice beauty mally cosmetics they have a bunch of different brands that they incorporate each time so it is a really good option if you are wanting to get your hands on higher end brands and still not paying too much for them so i wanted to show you guys everything that i picked up during the 21 days this is not in the order that i got it i just have shamefully not one not two but three big old to bags so this will be fun short little hair change no big deal so let's just go ahead and jump in <laughs> Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. No specific order. I'm just going to go in each bag and show you guys what I got. I will leave everything linked down below. The first product I picked up is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I have actually picked this up before in the 21 Days of Beauty. It is such a good steal because again, everything is half off. So this, instead of it being $32, was $16. I was honestly on my last spray in my other one so this came at a perfect time next in here was my like i had to go this day i had to go early because at my ulta at least and actually online on the app they sell out quick of the things that they are giving away that day i have actually gone one day a little bit later than usual and they were completely sold out lesson learned you girl will get her butt up and go so this product i definitely got my butt up early and i went i think as soon as they opened i was one of those people this is the becca backlight priming filter i was so excited when i got the ad in the mail and i saw that this was up there because i have been wanting to try this for forever i honestly just didn't want to splurge the original 38 dollars that this primer is because to me that is a little bit pricier for a primer but i have had my eye on this for a while so i got it on sale for 17 dollars, i think it was which is super awesome also what was super cool that day is they had a sample that they were giving out which is the becca first light priming filter which is something else that i wanted to try from becca i heard that their primers are amazing and they do wonders for the skin so i was definitely glad when i could pick up the backlight priming filter and then get a sample of the new or first light priming filter so one of the days i picked up the mally effortless airbrushed blush and highlighter duo i actually have not tried anything from this brand before i have heard someone i believe talk about their poreless powder i think it was but i don't hear too much about this brand when i saw that this was up there i thought hey why not i could always use another blush and highlighter i mean why not and it did come with a double sided brush i got a highlighter in stardust which looks really nice and then the blush is perfect peach which is a beautiful peach shade so these are normally 35 so i got them for about 17.50 which i feel like isn't too bad again you get a double sided brush and two powders it's definitely something that kind of caught my eye when i saw it and i figured why not let's go ahead and try it with this product i have heard so many good things about this and just never picked it up i don't know why i use primers a lot but i don't try out a bunch of primers if that makes sense i kind of have my select few that i use and i'm okay with that i'm not a primer junkie by any means they had the stila one step correct skin tone correcting and brightening serum i thought it was pretty cool how it has the different swirlies in here all-in-one serum primes color corrects 
brightens and moisturizes and I don't have that many products from Stila I actually think I only have one which is their eyeshadow palette so I wanted to try some more things from them that's what I love about the 21 days of beauty is that because things are on sale it gives you that chance to try some brands that you haven't tried before because they can be a little bit pricey along with the 21 days of beauty they do have a select few products that are on sale during the 21 days of beauty if that makes sense luckily the bare minerals gin nude matte liquid lip colors were on sale they were $12 when they are normally $18 I picked up three new ones I absolutely love this formula I love the color range that they have they are all pretty much nudes they smell like cookies and just butterscotch goodness I already have I think only one by them and I absolutely love that one I have hemp and I picked up wink XYZ and Om. so here are the swatches this one is going to be wink this is XYZ and then this one right here is Om. Um. I love this formula so again I just wanted to pick up some additional colors and they were $12 so you can't beat a steal. You can't beat it. Moving on. Moving on. I picked up an extra of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This bad boy was $10. I really do enjoy this mascara. It is super black and the wand does really good for my lashes. It helps separate them and at the same time lengthens them. So I do really enjoy this mascara and last time I got it Benji was actually a puppy which makes me really sad because that was a really long time ago but we're moving on. But last time I got this mascara he chewed on it the day that I got it I didn't even use it yet and it was my first one I'd ever gotten and he chewed on it so thankfully he is an adult dog now and he ain't gonna be chewing on my mascara <coughs> reaching into my bag of goodies second thing that I was out of this world cannot believe that it was in the 21 days of beauty was the Anastasia brow whiz are you as shook as I am because I was shook when I saw the ad I marked it in my calendar I marked it in my brain I could not forget this day I could not forget when this was going on sale because this was $10.50 instead of I think these are normally 20 so dollars I snagged it I actually have not tried the brow whiz before I tried their brow definer hated it I actually took it back but I wanted to try the brow whiz because this one is a little bit more precise and this is in dark brown so <laughs> so excited about that have not tried anything from this brand yet so I'm gonna say it a thousand times I'm super excited to be able to try something from them this is the Laura Geller baked blush and brightener I don't know why there are two different packaging for the same product they literally say the same exact thing on them and they say the same exact thing on the back so I mean is it just an upgrade? If you guys don't know by now, Katie who is Lusterlux here on YouTube is probably my fave. She's my top three so I talk about her a lot but she actually used one of these in, I saw this in the ad, let me, let me start here. I saw this in the ad and it didn't blow me away. I wasn't super excited. I was like I haven't tried anything from, out from Laura Geller so maybe I will try these out but I was still kind of on the fence about them. And honestly, I think it was a day or two before these were going to be on sale. Katie did a tutorial with them and I absolutely loved the way it turned out. Maybe it was just because she was looking good and looking fresh in her tutorial, but she convinced me to get them and she didn't even do anything. She just used them. The packaging's different. This is matte and this is glossy. What is up with it, Laura Geller? So I got Tropic Hues. And then I got Sunswept. I'm honestly a little bit scared about this one. That's an incredible swatch, but I'm definitely gonna have to be light-handed with this one. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful with that one. This is Tropical Hues, and this is just gonna be beautiful. It's a very pink, kind of corally color, and this one is very bronzy and kind of deep. So that one makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm excited to try out both of these. Part three of what I was super freaking exciting for. And shout out to the lady at my Ulta for letting me do this. There is a limit of two items per customer, which I honestly didn't even realize. But the lady at the cashier was super nice and just rang them up as two separate transactions. These are the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes that I got. And I also got the 12 hour Amazonian Clay highlighters. Your girl kind of went in on this day. They were 14 
$14 a piece, which I think originally they are $28 a piece. So definitely save some on these. In the blush, I got Seduce and Exposed. And in the highlighters, I got Exposed and Stunner. I've heard really good things about both of these and haven't picked them up. So like I've said before, I thought the 21 Days of Beauty was definitely a good chance. Horrible swatches of the year go to me, but this first one, I honestly tried to dig my finger in here so I'm a little nervous about this hopefully it'll pick up better with a brush this first one is exposed the second one is seduce those are the two blushes and then the highlighters we have stunner and then exposed on the bottom one bag down two to go I picked up the Juice Beauty Serum Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. I had it in my hands and walked around Ulta for probably a good 20 minutes thinking, do I really need this? Do I not? This was something that definitely intrigued me, the whole anti-wrinkle. It also says it reduces appearance of wrinkles, replenish, restore, and renew. That's all you gotta say to get me hooked. The price is honestly what got me. This is normally $75 four dollars 78 dollars i believe and it was on sale for about 36 38 i've only used it two or three times now and i haven't been seeing anything yet it doesn't say when you'll see results if you'll see results um i've heard a lot of amazing things about juice beauty i'm still trying it out i will let you guys know how i feel have you tried this if you have let me know down in the comments if it actually worked or if they just they got me on the wording so all of those products are things that i picked up during the 21 days of beauty like I said earlier with the bare minerals during the 21 days they do have certain brands or certain extra products that are an additional maybe 50% off or a little bit of a discount Fiona Styles if you guys have not heard of is a brand that is offered in Ulta they are apparently getting rid of it in my Ulta I don't know if it's all Ultas but in mine they're getting rid of it they were having a 50% off sale at the time that I was buying this stuff and so it being 50% off I mean how can you say no to 50% off Apparently I couldn't and I have no freaking self-control. I kind of went back and forth about it just because they are getting rid of it in my Ulta and I'm not sure if they're getting rid of it in all Ultas or what it is. I did want to do a full face one brand tutorial and this was all 50% off so I thought it would be a really good chance for me to do that. Real quick, I'm not going to show you guys colors or anything because you'll have to stay tuned for that video but I picked up the Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation and this is in 01. You can't really see it because of my background. I picked up the Micro Precision Brow Sculpting Pencil and this is in Neutral Brown. The Creamy Long Wearing Lip Contouring Pencil and this is in Donna Amelia. Two of their Soft Cheek Veils. I have Valley and Lex. Their Bronzing Sun Veil which is in Oh A Hockey. Their Full Cover Perfect Finish Concealer in O3. Their Artist Eyeshadow Quad and this is in mirror i'm horrible with names don't don't judge me hydra shine essential lip color and this is in normadine the sheer sculpting palette and this is light medium their light infusion prism palette and this doesn't have a shade so i just think it's universal that is it i feel like i have just talked a mile a minute i feel like i have gone through so many products there are so many products laying out on my table right now when this video goes up hopefully i'll get it up this week and it is the sephora vib sale let me know if you guys would like to see a video on that haul because you know your girl's gonna be spending some money at sephora thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe before you leave if you aren't already we hit 200 subscribers thank you guys so much i can't believe i I didn't even mention that we hit 200 subscribers i am so excited i didn't even think this was possible 200 is not a whole lot to people but that's a whole lot to me i gained all of you guys i don't ever get emotional on camera and i feel like i'm about to get emotional i just can't thank you guys enough we're at excuse my cracked phone we're at 7,000 followers on instagram right now 7,000 people want to follow me that is mind blowing. I started with a thousand followers on Instagram. I just, I can't believe it. We're taking off guys. We're going to do this and I can't do any of this without you. I'm going to end this here because I could just blab on for days. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye.